just a couple of ideas about inversions. Now, first, I'm going to show you about stuff about inversions because I want you to really digest this. Okay, this is an A. Now, the thing is, people look at the guitar and see shapes. Mm -hmm. They don't see notes. And that's a bad habit to get into. Yeah. It's okay to kind of help guide you around, but you have to see the notes. And if you know the notes, if I tell you A, C sharp, and E are the notes inside of an A chord. Now, when I play an A chord, I strum from the A string. The A note comes first because that gives it its identity. Yeah. Like an A chord starts with an A note, so your ear knows. Look, just like an E chord starts with an E note, or a G chord, guess what note I'm holding down? That's a G note. D chord starts with a D note. That's why you strum from the D string. Now, what if I played what's called an inversion? That means putting any other note, like in the case of A, I'm putting C sharp or E in front of an A note, like okay. this. So, um... One, you know, like this right here, this shape is actually so an is, inversion. So is the root note last every time? No, it's it's mixed up. It's mixed just, I, I, you know, for lack of explaining, like, you know, every different inversion, the root note is placed in different places okay. throughout the chord. But in the A, it's less. Yeah, so, so look at this, like right here. And what if I strummed an A, like, because this is an A, mm -hmm. the three notes that have to be in a chord are called the first, the root note, the third, and the fifth in the major yeah. scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, three, five. Okay, those notes, if I go to A, it's like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five. You can hear that. It sounds major, doesn't it? Dun, dun, dun. Look, this sounds minor. That, can you tell? Yeah. These are the three notes that are inside of an A chord. Well, Matt, why don't you just play an A chord like this? Well, because this finger's on this string. Look at that. It's covering up this note, but I have to have this note in there too. Right? Mm -hmm. So I have to have an A, and I know the fretboard, so A, C sharp, and E. I know that what these are, A, C sharp, and E. Well look, I can play them in this shape down here. A, the E, I'm putting, I'm putting, you can put them in any order you want, is what I'm saying. Yeah. A, C sharp, and E, however you want to mix up the colors, like yellow and blue make green, right? You've seen that before, like yeah. when you're doing color stuff. Well. Which one should you put down on the piece of paper first if you're going to make green? Yellow or should you put down blue? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You're going to mix them up anyway. Uh -huh. Right? So you just put down yellow and then put down the blue. Uh-oh. What if you put down the blue first? Uh, go ahead and put the yellow on top of you. You're going to mix them up. That's going to make green. Mm -hmm. Well, A, C sharp, and E make an A chord. So well, what order should you put them in? doesn't matter. At, at just the chord, like normally when we play it, it leads with A. It really tells you this is an A. It tells your ear. Here's the root note, A, so it's like, you know, E and C sharp, uh, another A and C sharp. Well, look at this. This is technically an inversion. If I strum from this string, the D string, and play this note first, that's an E note. E, A, C sharp. Is that still an A? Yeah. Yeah. It's an inversion. Why? Because A is coming. It's yeah, not it's the not first note you strike. Okay. That's the easiest way of putting inversions. So, yeah, if it didn't, so like if the root note isn't first, yes. it's an inversion. Okay. And that, there you go. Okay. That's it. Like, look at this. Check this out. This D is another one. This, strumming from here, is, an in, is not an inversion, right? We're starting with D. But guess what? If, you if I strum from here, there's another D in here, because we need D in the ingredients. Yeah. Or it's not a D chord. Mm -hmm. But look, D is right here, I know this. See, they're in a different order now. It's not coming last. D just happens to be right here, the way the guitar is made. So we have an A, a D, and an F sharp. Those make up a D chord. 
Is that an inversion if I strum from right there? Absolutely it is. That's called an inversion. Is it an inversion if I strum from here? No, it's not. Shape didn't change. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. It's the note that you strummed with first. Yeah. Now, in this song, we're playing C sharp minor to A, and you can play C sharp minor, or you can play A up here, which looks like an F shape, right? Mm -hmm. And then, when he's when he comes into the uh, the pre-chorus, he goes, he plays. This is an inversion. This is a this is a B chord, but he's he's not starting off with B because B is right here. He's bringing this note up here, okay, which in this case is a D uh, a D sharp, okay. So it goes from this B inversion to a C sharp minor. Now remember, get those fingers over there because you're covering up the uh, A string there with those fingers. Okay? Oh yeah, there, there you go. Good, and then down to B, and then A. Okay, and then we'll go into the chorus. Now it's a lot.